Welcome to week four of the course. I uh, hope everybody's doing all right. So I'm going to go into a short um, topic here about um, being thankful and, you know, opportunity. Um, you know, be thankful for opportunity. Okay, so that's uh, the quick topic here about, you know, we have a lot of things, but we also have opportunities. Take advantage of them. Uh, you know, don't let them just, you know, get wasted. And, uh, you know, being thankful for what you have. Uh, every, as a college student, uh, especially, uh, you know, graduate program, uh, you have something that a lot of people don't ever get to do. So it is something special. Uh, you may be overwhelmed with the amount of work you have to put into it, the quality of work you have to put into it. But still, this is, this is like a gift. And if you don't see it that way, you need to kind of reevaluate uh, what you're doing in a program like this and why you're there. And uh, just, you know, make sure you understand that, you know, you get to earn a degree. You get the opportunity to do this where somebody else doesn't get to do it. And you get to have uh, what you do have. Uh, you know, sometimes we, uh, we, especially here in the United States, are very materialistic. You know, we have things and, you know, sometimes, you know, versus we don't have things. Uh, some of us, uh, because of the benefit of age and different generations, uh, have, you know, been in positions where people didn't have everything we have today so we have maybe a better appreciation for it maybe but again you know you, you just gotta be thankful for what you have and be thankful for the opportunity you have uh, you know all of us have opportunities in our lifetime uh, we all have stories uh, and we can feel sorry for ourselves and you know dwell on things or you know move forward uh, try to fix whatever thing the obstacles are in the way and, and work on you know getting you know getting ahead uh, I use myself as an example. Um, those of you who don't know my story, uh, you know, my I was born in 1956. Uh, uh, my parents got divorced at, uh, around nine, after when I was six years old, so that's around 1962. My mother uh, swooped me up and took me to Ireland. Uh, so I was over there for four years because that's where she was from. And uh, from like 62 to 68, or I mean 66, somewhere around there. But um, you know, it didn't occur to me. You know, when I got there, they had just gotten a power line to the house where it had an electric light. Uh, there was no plumbing. Uh, you know, there was a fire. Um, eh, you know, a fire for the, the heat. Uh, but that was it. You know, and there was um, a barrel outside and a drain for like bath water. You know, uh, so and then down the road. Um, about two miles down the road in this picture I got here, the, the marvels of Google. Uh, you can actually Google places. So I was able to Google uh, where I was over in Ireland and uh, at about two miles down the road there was this water pump. I got kind of an enlarged one here, you can't, but there's a water pump right there. Uh, so, you know, every day we'd make the trek down uh, to the water pump, about a two mile trek uh, with two buckets, fill it up, and then by the time we get back we'd have two half buckets of water, but still. Uh, so that that was life for me, but I didn't know any different. I didn't think I was in poverty or anything like that. Um, you know, until when I came back to the States and I was introduced to hamburgers, uh, you know, everything changed for me. So, uh, but still, people, um, you know, people in general, I, I notice this sometimes when there's like uh, disasters and things happen. You know, people think they're uh, they're hungry because they have to go to a food line. Uh, and it doesn't even occur to them that there's a food line to go to. You know, it's just an automatic, oh, you know, you, you're supposed to take care of me type thing. And so I just make that point because it's just about being grateful for what you have, thankful for what you have. Uh, look at things like cell phones, you know, I mean, you know, they're not a necessity, even though everybody has them, even though the government gives them to people who can't afford them. Um, but, you know, there was a time when you could get uh, by with just a landline. You didn't have to know what was going on all the time, uh, things like that. You could survive without it. So I just use that as a general, uh, a general item that we are, we have today. But anyway, uh, just be thankful for you know what you have. Don't complain about what you don't have. All right, uh, you're blessed. Uh, you're blessed to have opportunities to be where you are and to do what you're doing. Uh, so getting this degree, uh, that's a blessing for you. It's a gift, and you know you should be 100% into it. Uh, not like something extra or, you know, like that's a, uh, you know, a, a chore for you or something like that. I mean, if you're not appreciating the opportunity you have, uh, you probably shouldn't be pursuing it. So uh, pursue something you want to have. All right. So with that, I will quit there.